All right, folks, we are back with another one. And today we're going to do a Cajun shrimp twice baked potato. Oh, this is going to be good. So let's get this one started. So the first thing we're gonna do is I've already cleaned my potatoes. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some oil on them real quick. And I'm also going to, um, I guess you can say it's a tenderizing method with the potatoes where you fork the potatoes. And what that does, that allows when you salt them for the salt to get in. So I'm gonna wrap them with oil and then I'm gonna put them in my air fryer at 375 degrees for one hour. All right, so I'm gonna take these guys, put them in. Like I said, the air fryer's already been heated, so we're just gonna drop them in, close it, and it's gonna do its thing. And I'll see you guys in about an hour. All right, now that we got the potatoes in the air fryer, let's go ahead and focus on the shrimp. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna get some garlic ready and get it chopped up finely. Uh, I want to make sure that uh, the garlic is pretty much permeating through the shrimp. And so I'll chop those up and then next I'll get to some, some chopped up parsley. So I'm also going to add that to the dish. And uh, yeah, I like to make sure I get all the, uh, these ingredients ready to go ahead of time. So that way I'm not chopping them at the end. And I also got some, some chives and the chives are going to add that kind of fragrant onion flavor if you want to say uh, without it being as pungent like an onion so that's the nice thing about those so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some seasoning to these shrimp so I got the shrimp ready to go uh, and I'm gonna leave the tails on for now uh, shrimp tend to cook better with the tails on they don't curl up as much uh, so I like to leave the tails on while I cook them, but I will take the tails off later. So I got my seasoning in there. We're going to do a couple different types of Cajun seasoning. Uh, of course, I got to add some smoked paprika and uh, some onion powder. Now, there's no reason to add any salt to this due to the Cajun seasoning has a, having a lot of salt in it already. So those will be ready to go. So we'll get those those shrimp set and you'll see me add the uh, the garlic powder in here. And then what you want to do is use what God gave you uh, once you add a little bit of oil right on top to mix these up is and I don't need much just a little bit because they're going to have butter and oil in the pan but use those hands and get ready. So now that we got that I'm going to throw I got a little bit of oil already in the pan so I got to throw my butter in okay and what you want to see is the butter bubbling up just a little bit. You don't necessarily want it brown yet because what's going to happen is it comes up to temp. Uh, so I got my, my fire to about a medium high heat. I'm going to throw my garlic in. So I don't want to burn the garlic. I just want to have that garlic cook really quickly to where you start to smell the fragrance of the garlic. But don't leave it in there too long because we don't need the, the brown bits of garlic. We just need that, that really good smell letting you know you're doing some cooking okay the shrimp are gonna go in right after that and I'll tell you the way this smells when you start to smell those seasonings and um, that Cajun seasoning it's not overpowering it's actually pleasant for me at least so uh, just you know enjoy the process as you're cooking it uh, so this dish was actually inspired by a restaurant called McAllister's Deli and they make what's called a spud where they put different ingredients inside of the spud. I thought it'd be a great idea to throw some shrimp in mine and take a regular twice baked potato instead of using bacon and kind of the traditional ingredients. Throw some Cajun shrimp in there. Why not? I mean, I don't think you can go wrong, you know. I mean, look at this. It, if that don't make you a little bit happy just at this point, I, I don't know what does. So we're going to let the shrimp cook and you want to get them to their their nice and tender and we'll add a couple more ingredients here in just a second i'm gonna throw some fresh lemon juice on top i went ahead and seeded the lemon and got the lemon ready to go in so i'm gonna squeeze that in um, 
and that just obviously you know it just adds something extra when you have some fresh lemon uh, on top of your shrimp so those are cooked for just a minute and I would say on average you want to say about uh, seven to eight minutes to cook the shrimp uh, because once we get to the point where we do the assemble the dish is ready to go so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the shrimp out of the pot um, after I put a little fresh parsley on there and I'm gonna put the shrimp aside so I can take the tails off the one thing I'm not going to leave in that pot is all of that deliciousness right there that you see. I mean, come on. I'm not going to leave that. That is going in that potato. 100%. So now I'm going to cut the shrimp up. And I want to get nice, small, bite-sized pieces without destroying the shrimp, if you want to say, or making them to where you can't even see them. So those are perfect size pieces. And like I said, I got to put that in there. Okay. So that, that, look at that. I mean, if that don't make you happy. Um, I know you wanna say, well, that's a lot of oil. Well, you know, this is kind of a rich dish. So I got some cheddar cheese that I'm gonna grate up. And this is also gonna go in there. So this is some freshly grated cheddar. Uh, and I wanna say it's a aged, uh, mild cheddar. I, I didn't wanna do a sharp cheddar. But we'll get ready for the potato. All right, it's potato time. So. My potatoes have been cooking for about 50 minutes and they're, they're right where I need, need them to be. So what's nice is they're soft enough, but they still have where, you know, the, it's not too, too soft. So what you want to do is you want to cut a slit at the top of the potato and go all the way around. Okay. Um, as you can see, I was having a little bit of trouble because it was hot. <laughs> uh, but once you get that top piece off, you're going to scoop all of that out. Okay. And, and so what I'm going to do is I got three potatoes that were in the air fryer. I'm going to go ahead and get all of that scooped out and then we'll get to work on the filling. And you'll see, I mean, it, it looks like the potatoes not soft yet, but it's, it's incredibly soft. And um, I got a little bowl. I'm throwing that, that right in there. But the filling is going to be absolutely delicious with everything that's going to go in it. So I got all the potatoes in. We're gonna throw in some butter, okay? And the butter, you probably see some specks on there. That's a little bit of the parsley. Uh, I gotta throw the cheese in there. And that, that cheddar cheese, I'm telling you, it's it's absolutely delicious. And I use the white cheddar, um, just cause I didn't wanna use the, the, the yellow cheddar cheese. It just, it doesn't work. So uh, for me, added in some heavy cream. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix this up just a little bit. Uh, to where we can start to feel the potatoes starting to smooth out a little bit, almost to a mashed potato consistency, but not quite, okay? Now we're gonna come in with the shrimp and all of that, the juices from the pot and everything and mix that in there. You guys should be getting excited at this point because I know I am, I'm telling you, look, look at this. I wanna eat that by itself and not even throw it in the potato, but you put it in there, with the potato skin and then uh, we're gonna throw it back in the air fryer here shortly to get that all nice and bubbly and crisp up uh, but I got a few more things I want to add in so now that we got that that mixing and it's getting really really nice I'm gonna throw in uh, some parsley and also some chives now the one thing you didn't see me put in here is any salt and the main reason with the combination of the butter, with the combination of the cheese, and also with the shrimp, I promise you, you don't need any salt. If at the end, you wanna add a little bit of Cajun seasoning right on top, you could. I chose not to, but you definitely could do so. So we'll get that ready. And now that we got the filling all mixed, I got the potato happy and ready to go. We're gonna start filling these bad boys up. And I'll tell you, if you're not excited about how you can play around with this dish, I mean, think about it. You could do crab meat, you could do shrimp, um, crawfish for, for my people down in New Orleans. I mean, there's, there's just so many different things you can do. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, I'm trying to grow this channel exponentially for the year 2023 and put out a lot more dishes. We'll be back with you guys here shortly.
ready to go. And let me tell you, come on. If that don't look good, I don't know what does. If there's any other dishes you guys would like me to try to make, please let me know. Leave comments and please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like this one and we'll be on to the next one. Thank you guys.